Hey everyone, it's Dr. Chuck back with another refrigerant checkup. Today I want to spend a few minutes talking about something I've been urging folks to do for a number of years, but it's become even more urgent, and that's develop a refrigerant management plan. So we may think, why is it so urgent today to come up with a refrigerant management plan? Well, there's really a number of factors impacting our HVACR industry and a world of refrigerants. One being the phase down of HFC refrigerants, our legacy refrigerants that we've used for years. And at the same time, we have an introduction of a new generation of mildly flammable A2L refrigerants coming into a lot of applications. So why it's so important and what you should think about when you do a refrigerant management plan, I really uh, believe it will help us uh, manage our way through this transition because we really have one foot in the past and one foot in the future. So we have to manage both legacy refrigerants and new refrigerants as things go. We already have a lot of refrigerants out there, so it's gonna be a little more complicated, but it's important uh, to understand all the impacts and the things that you can do that are really practical that will help you uh, through that. So when we think of our legacy refrigerants, things like 410A, 134A, 404507, those have been used for years and years, and those systems are going to continue to operate. So you need to have a good plan to help your customers service that equipment uh, for years to come. And then, you know, on the other hand, at the same time, a new equipment with A2Ls, things like R454B and air conditioning, are going to be rolling out. So I think there's really three areas that you can focus on, and let me go through those one by one. So starting off first with those legacy systems, you know, those things are going to continue to age and, uh, you know, a certain percentage every year will be at their useful end of life. So really being prepared to have those discussions with your customers uh, about the best plan and the best path forward as things age out is important. If systems still have good usable life, you may consider a retrofit. We've done tons of retrofit from things like R22, uh, to MO99 on the uh, air conditioning side, 449A, 448 uh, on the commercial refrigerator side. So there's a lot of possibilities for equipment that still has existing life. Uh, depends on the age, the condition, the overall fleet size of this particular customer, what they have, their budgets, their time frames, their sustainability goals. A lot of factors can go into making those replace or repair decisions. Uh, you know, and speaking of repairs, leak repair, leak detection is always going to be important, especially in these legacy systems. Uh, and you're going to want to be able to, you know, source reliably from a supplier you know and trust those gases, things like 410, 404, uh, going forward. So make sure you line yourselves up with a good refrigerant supplier. Um, the second part. I would say is uh, you know preparing for the new generation of equipment. It's rolling out there. It's here today. Um, most of it is going to be A2L, mildly flammable. There's some changes coming with that. Getting uh, trained up on the A2L changes and what impacts that's going to have on your operations. If you're a service tech, if you're a, a wholesaler, if you're in sales or marketing, a lot of things uh, to be learned around you know the transition from 410A systems to what will now be uh, 454B systems for the most part in uh, air conditioning. You may see things like 454A, 454C refrigerants coming out in uh, commercial refrigerant, uh, supermarket, uh, convenience store type applications. The third aspect of a good refrigerant management plan revolves around reclamation. And if you're a service contractor, uh, technician in the field, you're in a very unique position. You're probably going to be using reclaimed gas uh, to service some of your customers, but you're also the primary source of reclaimed gas. The gases that you recover out of systems and bring back to the industry to be reprocessed, reclaimed to version specifications so they can be redeployed are going to help the entire industry manage this transition. In the early years, uh, short term here, it's going to be mostly the legacy HFCs that are uh, you know in demand and need to be recovered. Things like 407, 404, 507, uh, even R22, um, 410. It's going to be another one. Eventually, we're going to start reclaiming A2Ls, but since they're just being introduced and just being implemented, the amount of reclaim there is going to be 
uh, low for a, for a little while. Reclaim, recovery, uh, recycle, reuse is going to be part of everyone's game in the uh, grand HVAC or industry that we work. So, as we've been saying for a number of years, refrigerant management, uh, very, very important. Three areas we want to focus on, HFCs, dealing with legacy systems, supporting our customers there, introducing and preparing the industry to manage their way into the introduction and safely and efficiently get up and running on the new generation of A2Ls, and then closing the circularity gap uh, stepping up our recovery reclaim game going to be very important. So a solid refrigerant management plan is evergreen. Uh, regulations and technologies are changing, so you need to revisit, update your refrigerant management plan. But really emphasis on reclamation, maintaining the value and quality of our refrigerant out there, avoid mixing gas, avoid venting, uh, recover every last pound that we can. And uh, you know, once you have a solid plan, I would go back and revisit it uh, you know, once a year, twice a year, and say, are we doing the right things? Do we have the right procedures, plans in place to take care of our customers legacy-wise, new system-wise, and uh, reclamation and keeping the whole circularity uh, loop intact. So I hope this was uh, encouraging. I think there's gonna be a lot of activity going on with refrigerants in the coming months and years. It seems it's never getting quiet. Um, so keeping your eye on the ball or juggling the multiple balls, maybe in this case is a better analogy, uh, going to be very, very important. Uh, here at Camores and the Appium team, we're here to help you. If you have any questions on the engineering, technical side, product side, regulation side, certainly reach out through your uh, local Camores rep or uh, you can contact me directly and I can help get you in touch with, uh, with one of our experts. So again, thanks so much for your business. Thanks for supporting Appium and Camores, and I look forward to talking to you again. Please be safe out there. Have a great day.